Hello guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name's Walter O'Neill. Hi, I'm Sandra. Say hi guys, you haven't seen much of it this week. Hello. Um, interesting video today. Now, I don't know if I told you last Thursday, um, a couple come up to my store, Linger Bylon, and bought a lot of my jugs and things that I had off the elderly gentleman. Um, now, I done them a seriously good price because it's something I didn't want anymore because I was talking when I was saying I just don't want to be lumping the ceramics now around anymore. Well, I don't know whether they've seen my film or whether they just liked the stock I give them, but they asked me for my number last Thursday and they texted me then yesterday and said, Gavilan's not on, um, do you fancy meeting up and bringing us some stock? Will you put us together a couple of bundles? So I put it together a nice job lot of ceramics first um, and sent them that, uh, which was all the cheaper end, you know, the two, three, four pound pieces. And then I had a text message saying, yes, that's very nice. Can you uh, just well, make it worth our while because we're traveling a long way, can you fill the car? So I done another bundle of slightly dearer items now but nice items you know six seven eight nine pound a piece but really nice pieces making sure i leave enough profit on them so they've seen that and they said yes they're happy with that can i make them a bundle up of metalware and wood so i've just made them a metalware uh, a job lot of metalware and wood up. Um, so I'm now, well, sorry, we are now on our way to Brecon to meet up for this couple. I did. <laughs> We're on our way up to Brecon uh, with half a car of stock to um, take to meet this couple. Now, I have done a really good deal for them for the plain and simple reason. If they can move the stuff on and make a profit and come back to me like this, then it's better for me. I haven't got to stand at a table to take the money. I haven't got to pay a pitch. All I got to do is plan a day out and we'll go out buying around the antique centres and Brecon's full of antique centres, guys, and charity shops. So we'll go up to Brecon. We'll spend uh, the day out in Brecon. Um, I would say have some food, but I've just fed happy by you. Did. What did I do you? Pasta and curry. And why did I do it? Because I'm on Slimming World. And she just came out of Slimming World, guys, and she had an amazing week. She, I lost nine pounds. She lost nine pounds uh, this week. Absolutely superstar. Brilliant. Over the moon. So she, she was hungry this morning, because obviously you don't eat on way morning. So she had to weigh now 10 o'clock this morning. So she said, I can't go with him to Brecon until I've had something to eat. Of course, I won't wait anymore, so I've done a food. And I had to get in the car. <laughs> so I've done a pasta and curry, a nice chicken curry uh, and pasta, uh, which went down a treat, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it was still warm. It's still warm. So, yeah. So I would say we're going for food, but we've already had food. So I will show you. I'm hoping the farmer's market's on. I might be to get some duck eggs and things up there. And maybe a goose egg. Yeah. That'd be nice. Um, so we're going to get some photos now while we're up in um, Brecon now. We're going to do the antique centres. If I can, I'll sneak some photos, even if i got to use my phone and splice them in at the end. I have taken some photographs of the stock that I'm doing as job lots for you to see. Now, it's not huge profits, but I did talk to you in the week in one of my films saying I was going to change the entire look of my stall. Now, I'm, it's not that I'm being, you know, I'm too good for that or I don't want this, can't be bothered with that. It's I'm looking at turnover, speed, profit margin and how much work I have to do to make that profit. And it's not even just out of season change. Selling uh, bits of jewellery and now's the right time now to sell it, ready for Christmas and everything for that people. It is, yeah. It's that seasonal it is. as well, you change it for seasonal. But if you watched yesterday's video, I bought that amazing large Art Deco Indian chief head. Mm. Um, in ceramic, I will buy the ceramics, but they just have to be something special. Now. Do you remember that, guys? I just couldn't keep there, I couldn't keep a smile off my face. I loved it. Uh, it made my day that. Bit. I will buy the pieces, but they have to be special. Well, I knew that anyway, but it was great just to say, just to tease yeah. the life out of you. So, yesterday was a good day. Now, I got two options now. Obviously, I'm taking this load up to um, Brecon now to uh, sell. Um, but it doesn't leave me a lot of bric-a-brac 
from my stall if I have a, a pitch in Abergavenny. So I'm going to be stalled out purely with jewellery in Abergavenny. So I have to make sure it counts. You know, the jewellery has to really stand out and be something. So, fingers crossed. Um, but I got the new cabinet, don't I? Yeah, so if I go for too. the... The only downside with it is, when you take just jewellery, just expensive jewellery, um, you're limiting yourself on one customer. That is someone who's after jewellery. But you take a bit of bric-a-brac as well, and a bit of this, a bit of that. I try to have a wide variety of items on my stall, so anybody can be a customer. And not just that, I get to chat to people throughout the day. Because there's no way Happy Bay is coming with me on a Wednesday. She's got too many commitments. So... I'm dreading being up in Abergavenny in the tunnel outside on my own, freezing cold, um, and not talking to a lot of people. And do I take money? Nah, possibly. Problem is, I'm talkative one too, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm very quiet, guys. Believe it or not, you see me face to face, back. and I'm very, very quiet and shy. I'm the talky one, the chopsy one. So yeah. But no, it's nice to uh, make contacts like this. I haven't had a contact like this for a few years. Uh, so believe me, I'm going to keep them sweet. I'm going to make sure they have some really good deals off me. Uh, make them want more, make them come back throughout the winter when uh, the boot sales are slim. And I'm struggling uh, to find places to sell my stock. They can come back and buy it off me at the right price. It's all good business sense. Um, just start booking it. Take the number down, keep the number. If I get a, a job lot in off uh, the old man again, or if I go to the auctions, because I am considering going back oh, to the auctions. Nice. There's a nice little house there. Yeah. Nice, like the cartwheels. Sorry. It's all right. Um, it, I am thinking of going back to the auctions again through the winter, so when I'm buying the miscellaneous boxes and I put the stuff on the boot sale, it builds up fast, and then I'll just phone them up and say, look, I got a clearance lot, 100 pound, 200 pound, do you want it? Show them, send them some photos, they say yes or no, and it's gone. So, contacts like this are priceless, guys. You really need them, you've got to keep hold of them. I've already got one or two down in Cardiff that do all the silver plate. So, it's, it's going all right. Anything you want to talk about before we uh, say goodbye to we get a I'm off to Zumba tonight, guys. I'm going to be doing dancing away. I've offered Ed to come, but uh, he doesn't go on. Okay, you see, I'm going to have a bit of jumping about in a bit of Zumba. Yeah. I really get time for that, don't I? I <laughs> know, I'm pretty hectic today. Of course, I got my wigging dress on. And my leggings. I, I turned up, and he was parked in my car park space by my house. <laughs> so, off we go in the rain. And, uh, well, I'll talk for ages, I will. So, we'll uh, see you later once uh, we get to meet the couple. See you soon, guys. Bye. Hi guys, I'm just going to film a little bit of the view for you here. As you can see, it's absolutely spectacular. This is where we're driving now, it's up in the Brecon Beacons. And you can see why Wales is classed as so beautiful, with all this, you know, land around us. It's absolutely glorious. You can't quite see yet, but to my right, there's a full view of the valleys, right away as far as the eye can see. Um, hopefully when I get around the bend now, you might see it. Um, I used to come up here as a child picking all Wimbries from the Wimbry bushes. Wimbry's a type of fruit. And this mountain is plastered in Wimbries. Um, my mother used to bring me up here, you know, when I was seven and eight. And God, I got some happy memories of playing up here on the mountains, picking Wimbries and throwing my brother down the cliffs and <laughs> just playing. <laughs> as you do. But uh, yeah, some wonderful uh, scenery up here. Here you go, it's a beautiful little pan of the uh, sort of valleys, look at that. Wales is really is a beautiful country, guys. We are very fortunate and blessed to have such beautiful surroundings. Uh, we don't have the busy life of, and hustle and bustle of the cities, but look what we do have. We have to travel a little bit for cities and things like that, but oh God, you, can you imagine having a view like that? You know, you got people in some parts of the world, you know, really ill from smog and things where it's just so much congestion. And we, we, well, we suffer with so many trees. So, it is absolutely stunning here, guys. 
So hopefully you'll, uh, you've enjoyed having a little look at that. But this, these beacons go on for miles and miles and miles. Sandra's going to try and sneak a few um, shots now on her phone as we drive in. And I'll splice them in at the end as well. So, see you soon guys. Alright guys, we just come into Brecon Town Centre and we just had to pass a castle which I'm going to try and get photos for you on the way out. You can see Brecon is absolutely stunning. Very old town. So we're going to go looking for the antique centres now. I do like that. There's your, um, on the top shelf, Sam, where you got off me? Yeah, it was. You don't need all of them, do you? £135 for an 18th century. Wow. Another antique shop, it's shut. It's quite a lot of them not open today. Have a look at this fender now, guys. Don't know if you can see it. They had an 18th century drinking class in their last uh, antique centre. It was only a standard 1780, 1790. And they wanted £135 for it. Huh. I know. I didn't see that one. But, uh, yeah, I've got it on the film. Mm -hmm. I'm not being funny. What? 135 I'd have been selling it for 35 Okay guys, there's, um, we're in the centre of town and there's a big wishing well uh, here. And what I intend to do is I have a pound coin here and I'm gonna throw it in and this wish this wish is for you guys. So ready? You guys make a wish. That wish is for you guys. So feel free to make your wish. Okay guys, so we've just had a, a walk around town and I've done some really nice uh, photographs. Hopefully uh, you made a wish when I chucked uh, the money in the wish and well for you. Um <laughs> it's a nice little gesture there. Hopefully, uh, somebody's wish will come true. Uh, we've just had a phone call now saying they're running a wee bit late. Yeah. So we. Um... Don't have a go with me. It is 
are a treat for me now to be back on my diet. I'm off to Zumba later, so believe Thursday me, I'll work it off. Thursday is Sandra's treat day, so it's I not thought... treat day, is it? It's just a nice little bet that I'm going to have. Thursday is Sandra's easy day then, not so strict day. So I decided I can have a cake with her. <laughs> um, anyway, we just went round the antique centres and... Antique Centre is amazing, beautiful gear and they're absolutely stunning. But Christ, it's overpriced. Oh, yeah. They had £300 on a pair of candlesticks that big. And not being funny, they couldn't have been no more than 40 to 50 grams of silver in them. I would have been asking 45 to 65 for that pair of candlesticks and been happy. £275. Oh, yeah. That 18th century drinking glass. A simple, plain, drawn trumpet, snap, pontal, glass of that shape, size, age. 30 quid, 35 quid. They had 135 on it. Mm. Genuinely, guys, either I'm selling the stuff way too cheap or um, they're just astronomically priced. And believe it or not, the dealers, the cock, they nose up at the stuff I'm selling in the car boots at the prices I want. And if they're asking, if they're putting £100 on top of the pieces they're buying off me, is something bloody wrong. Um, so we had a look around the antique centre and needless to say I didn't buy a thing No. Uh, we went in the charity shop opposite and it had the most beautiful pair of uh, Waterford champagne flutes um, they, they were stunning, they were in their box, they were big, unbelievable cut pattern, almost like a bow tie uh, but they wanted 50 quid for the pair you know, there was no money left on them for me for the prices I sell for and that was all their money for me as far as I was concerned. They may have retailed out for 75 or 65 pounds, but by the time I take my 20% fees off, I'm losing money. So that's just no point. We've done the charity shops, but there was nothing in the charity shops, so there's no buy-in. Um, I've done some nice photographs, sorry, we've done some nice photographs of the surroundings, some landscape coming in, some of the buildings. Oh. And of course, then the wishing well that uh, we made a small donation for a wish so yeah it's all good so we we're going to sit down now we're going to enjoy our cakes and we're going to wait for the couple to come and collect these pieces and then we're going to get home for the children so we'll speak to you soon Bye anything you want to add no do you want to get me a wedding dress she's not getting married again she's got to be uh tiffany off chucky the corpse's bride i'm out um, in the charity shops looking for a wedding dress the her son Bradley is uh, going to dress up as Chucky. We're going away, we are. For Halloween. And of course, he wants Tiffany. So. And I'm the only girl going. So I have no choice. I got to have the wedding dress on. I got to have the black boots on, the wig. And I'm Tiffany. I personally think Jack would look good in a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. Just before we go, guys, just a little um, glimpse of somebody's um, treat. There you Yummy. go. Fresh cream donut with uh, jam over the top. Or sauce, anyway. You there can't you beat it. See you soon, guys. Bye. Well, we sat in the car park um, waiting for the, um, the couple to come and uh, collect the pieces. He had half of my cake. And, he um, did, he had I, half of my cake. I went, oof, and he didn't have a choice, really. I've fallen behind on uh, keeping up with everybody's um, videos and that. No, so, it's hard to keep You know, it's, fi it's hard to find the time to actually watch everybody else's films and make my own and seat the kids and do the boots and everything else. And, and, I and obviously I come up and pop up and see me because I'll have a right stroppy fit. So I did apologise the other day, um, a couple of days ago I said I'm behind and I would catch up. Um, and what are we doing? We sat here now watching Rod's film... Um, down in Australia, Pommy Pickers. And what's he do? He's only gone and give me a massive shout out telling everyone to come to my channel and that. So, thank you very much. And I have no idea what Mumbo Loud shirts are, but obviously I need to look at them if they're under $150. What do you say? Thank you for giving me a shout out. Oh yeah, you mentioned Sandra too. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra's in the video. Oh, you know, I swear to God. Do you know, you've had me traipsing round Brecon. Come on, Sand. Let's go and walk round Brecon. Have we seen the hill? <laughs> he took me upstairs into a charity shop. Uh, well, he wasn't sorry. It was not a charity shop. It was a, what was it? Like an auction room, whatever it was. I didn't even know what it was. It was an antique centre, guys. That was it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't see it. I was like, ah, oh my God. It was so dark in there. 
But anyway, this um, little snippet by hours, just to say thank you very much for the shout out. I do appreciate it. And I'm sorry I'm a few days behind um, watching your video. But it really is hard and I just have to squeeze them in as and when I can. So if I'm a little late, um, this one was published on the 5th and we'll be on now. 14th? So I'm about nine days late. So I'll apologize for that. Um, I do try and watch them when I can. So, a little uh, thank you there, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. <clears throat> Do you know, guys, I've just mentioned... Um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, guys, we're on our way home, and I'm just trying to capture a bit of the scenery for you now, and it's absolutely beautiful up here in Bracken. Um, deal's all done. They took two of the three boxes that I took with me, so that's not a bad day's work. I've left more than enough profit in there for them. It's fine. Um, and I'm happy enough to clear some of the older stock. So all in all, it's been um, really, really good. We had a couple of treats from Greg's, which uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna moan about. Guys, I've been in the co-op. Yeah, Sandra's saying she's been in the co-op. I bought Red Bull bars, we got peanuts, we got red salted crisps. I thought I had cashew nuts. We got cashew nuts. Believe me, I've been a very naughty girl. I really have. But, uh, look at me, man. <laughs> you wait until next week when I'm packed in. No, I haven't been too bad, guys. I just had two Red Bulls at home. <laughs> well. Rod, I've just caught up on your videos, mate. Sorry I fell behind, but it, life is seriously crazy. And um, I shared one on Facebook for you, Rod. But I do get to them as and when I can. Um, so, yeah. Hey, I think we lost. <laughs> no, we're not lost. I know exactly where I am. The antique shops are a flop, guys. I haven't bought no stock up here today, which is rare for me. I normally buy something. I should have bought the Waterfords, to be honest with you, but at 45, yeah. 50 quid, they were a lot of bloody money. I'd rather go with my 50 pound. Spend it on the weekend. Do you know, I actually thought I could have retailed them online for 100. Yeah, I know. I might have doubled my money on them. They were seriously nice. But they were hanging around for a while, I reckon. Oh, they took a while to sell. Yeah. yeah bear with me, this camera's moving a bit. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for a minute. Since... Uh, I, I don't know, really know what to say for a minute. So you know that guys, we lost and he knows it. I'm not lost at all, I'm on my way home. <laughs> you know, he's lost. Take a look at that sign by there, right? It says Merthyr Tidville, right? The second one on the right. right? <laughs> so I'm not lost, am I? Yes, guys, he's lost. <laughs> God, I tell you what, sometimes uh, she is really hard to take. She really is, guys. Ah, shut up. But at least, you know, at least as you can see, I got beautiful scenery for driving. I am not driving in city centres, stuck with traffic jams and lights and everything. Look at this beautiful drive. And you got beautiful company, guys. Driving through the countryside. Beautiful day. The rain is long gone. Look at that up there. It's a beautiful sun. So, yeah, happy enough, guys. It's been a decent day. We had a chat with the um, Rebecca and Alan when they came down for the stuff. So, happy happy days. Guys, we'll see us in about 15, 20 minutes, right? Being lost, right? <laughs> Sand, seriously? I'm I going to kill him. I watched now, right? We'll be on the camera now, we're going, we lost. What I'm going to do next, guys, When I, I'm going to call it there for a minute now, but when I cut back in, I'm going to try and capture a video of the reservoir for you. Um, show you the scenery and that up here where we're to go fishing. See you soon. Here's the res guys, or one of them. Absolutely stunning. Would you like to put a boat on it? They do go out on the boats on them. There's another one just down now with a lovely little island in it in the middle. I was hoping to pull over and actually uh... oh, see the police officer there. I was actually hoping to pull over and actually film tidy at the res, but there was no um, parking space for me on this side of the road to pull over. And this road is way too dangerous for me to be going on the wrong side of the road. 
and it's a high speed road, full national speed limit applies, so 60 miles per hour, which I think is about 80 kilometers, something like that. Um, so I certainly weren't going on the wrong side of the road. I'm gonna leave the camera on just for a second, guys, just so you can, uh, hopefully we can get to the other rest pretty quick. It shouldn't be too far down the road here, and I don't wanna switch off and then um, miss the other res. There's three of them in a row, there is. Um, you got the top, I think it's Ask, um, Thoin On, and I'm not sure of the other. So, and uh, Sandra's uh, hoping to end up on Brecon Mountain Railway in the next few weeks. If she does, guys, I'll get that filmed and uploaded for you. And I don't mean under the Brecon Mountain Railway, because I know for a fact we've thrown oh, me under. Here we there's go. Rest, there's, there's the other rest, one. Guys. Do you think you can catch us on Sandra and get the I'm castle? I'm not going to go. I'll give her a go. See how nice that would have sounded, guys? Nice picnic and a cup of tea. We just gotta get back for the kids. Yeah. Do you know, I grew up all around here, guys. My parents used to bring me up here for picnics and fishing and all sorts. I used to play in these woods, climb the trees, fall out, break some bones. All sounds absolutely awesome, let me tell you. <laughs> Memories. Now, I think that's it. We ain't gonna see the other eyes. So no, I don't think we're gonna see it. Well guys, we're back. I've just had a look now, I can't show you the brooch, the brooch is in the house. So what I'm gonna do, when I get back, I'm gonna take a photograph of it and splice it on the end for you. What it is, is a sort of World War II sweetheart brooch in solid silver with good luck on it. Um, so I'll send you a couple of photos of that on the end of the film, just what so you get to see it. Yeah, I told him I had a brooch that I forgot to put in from yesterday's video. Oh, okay. And then I said if i done it, I could do a film just of the missed stock they'd forget about. I was eating my peanuts, when I? Yeah, we were somewhere. Mm. Right, we've watched three videos today uh, while we were waiting for those people to come, just uh, catching up. And um, we watched Rod's Pommy Pickers. And we figured something out, fella. We now know why your videos are missing. You're very similar in um, format to myself. I'm very casual and everything, but we figured out what you're missing. Do you want to tell him? 
You're missing a Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> you need, and like me, at sat at the side of you, taking the piss out of you, contradicting you and everything else. I'm very willing for you to borrow my Sandra for six whole months, maybe a year. All you have to do is pay the flight out, mate, and she's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can have me, and I can be sitting there interrupting. <laughs> Please. <laughs> stuck with me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, call the video there. It's just started raining again. It started raining uh, again. Yeah, we're home. Yeah, but it's been a really lovely day, guys. I've enjoyed myself. I think I got sunburned, guys. Yeah, I'm a bit sunburned. Yeah, it's, it was really nice up my breath. It's been there. a beautiful day out. Uh, you got to see some of the scenery. And you know what? Just as a quickie, you heard me saying to Sandra, you're going to switch the camera off now and we're going to drive past the res. We didn't go 10 seconds down the road after she hit the plug, knocked it off. There was a bloody last res. <laughs> it was hysterical in the car. The car went God, really. Were we? I was well, more. I was hysterical. His face was like, ah, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you got to see some of the beautiful scenery that we were driving through. As you can see, we're very fortunate. Um, you know, very happy. It's been a good day. Um, I managed to sneak a few films of the um, antique centre. Uh, no talking in them, guys. Didn't want to alert uh, the yeah. people there to the fact After that I was all, filming. We do sneak the videos in. <laughs> yeah, the videos are sneaked in. I don't want to be thrown out of the shops. I am uh, in the trade and I do look around these shops to buy. So the last thing I want to do is be banned. Man, could you imagine uh, if he got thrown out? I'd be hysterical laughing at the top of the stairs, probably going like I'm behind him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed the film. Um, I know you haven't really got to see any stock, but you've uh, you've come with us on our out day out, and uh, you've seen how I've managed to mix a full day's business today now with pleasure. We've been out. We've had a wonderful day. Uh, we've been at Greg's. We've uh, walked around the antique centre. I've walked been out looking the, for a wedding dress. We've walked around the charity shop. Looking for wedding dresses for me anyway. Um, and at the same time we've done business, I've took a couple of hundred pound on uh, stock, so it's all good. So that's how you can do mixing business with pleasure in the antiques trade. Wonderful. You know, done my day's work and had a day out. At exactly. The same time. Come on with the wage. Yep. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and a share, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button for the notifications of our videos you'll find me on Facebook on Antiques Arena I have a page on the group you'll find me on eBay just run a search on eBay guys for Antiques Arena clearance and I have my own website antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com thanks for watching guys follow me on Instagram sorry Sandra Palmer eat see just under it I'm on Facebook as well guys there you go, Sandra Palmer on Instagram and If you join me on Facebook, you can watch me slagging him off on my main wall. <laughs> I am on Instagram myself as well, guys. You but, wouldn't um, think it, do we? He never mentions it. I never use it. He doesn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use Instagram, guys. He should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it there for now, right, guys? We'll see you soon. Bye.